DIY for flips for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, on this channel, I focus on all things thrift. So that might be a DIY thrift flip, it may be a thrift haul, it may be a thrift clothing haul. But we're all about that sustainability and I love the treasure hunt. So once again, this particular video, we will be doing a couple of thrift flips. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep on watching. Also, if you have not already, please think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. All right guys, let's get right into the video. For the first two DIYs, you are going to need some cement. I got my cement from Facebook Marketplace. However, you can pick this up at almost any hardware store. I like to keep the consistency somewhere between oatmeal and pancake batter. For the first smaller vessel, it was very easy for me to adhere the cement to the vessel because it already had a stone-like texture. However, when I got ready to apply the cement to the glass base, it was very difficult to do. So I would recommend you guys spray painting your glass pieces first before applying the cement. As you can see, the cement is simply sliding around on this glass. So what I had to do is apply as much cement as possible, allow that first layer to dry, and then go back in with a second coat of the cement. Now, when I apply the second coat, I kind of just patted it over the top of the existing cement to create more texture. This is what the vessels looked like after 24 hours of drying. The first vessel had a lot more texture because I had to pack the cement on in order for it to adhere. And the second vessel was a lot more smooth because of the stone texture. I'm giving this vase one good coat of gray spray paint because the glass is peeking through a little bit on the top and the bottom and I want it to look a little bit more uniform. And as you can see, this is the final result. I absolutely love the texture and just the nice gray color. You can antique this if you'd like. You can do so by using dirt, mud, coffee grounds, or cocoa powder. It's limitless, but I like the clean look of just the gray cement. I'm so sorry guys, the footage from the aged vessel got deleted, so I decided to leave the instructions on the screen for you guys. I simply applied a little bit of mud to the vessel, let it dry, and then wiped it away. The mud was a little bit too strong for my liking, so I went back over it with a little bit of cement with one of those circular craft sponges, and this is the final result. For my third and final DIY project, I am going to create this mini stool. I found this piece of wood, actually, <laughs> I went dumpster diving, guys. Yes, I do that from time to time. So I found this piece of wood and I knew I could use it for one of my projects. Now, the saw that I have, it's very old and it's dull, I know. So my husband decided that he was not going to allow me to use it and he was going to do it himself, which I'm very thankful for. So I ended up cutting this board in half. Um, I'm going to use the top part for the actual uh, base of the stool. And then he ended up cutting one more piece of board for the legs. Here, I'm simply giving all of the pieces of wood a really good sanding. 
I actually love this particular piece of wood because of the beautiful gray tones that are throughout the wood. And it's also got some browns in there. It just looks very aged and worn. And all of my inspo pictures that I found for these mini stools, they just looked very vintage. And so I was excited to find this piece of wood because it already had that aged look to it. Here, I'm simply kind of fooling with the legs to see how I want the um, mini stool to stand structurally. Once I get it down, I made a couple of markings where I want the legs to be. And then I drilled holes um, into both the top piece of wood and the legs. And I used wood screws to adhere them together. Now, I am very sure that there are multiple different ways to do this that are probably much better than what I did, but I used what I had at home to complete this look. That is why it's called DIY, do it yourself. So this is how I chose to do it. Here it is, this is the finished product and this has to be my favorite of all three of the DIYs that I completed today. I love the simplicity of the design and the aged wood. I just think it is absolutely gorgeous and chic. All right guys, that's it. That completes this week's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the DIY thrift flips. I truly enjoyed making them for you guys. Comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite and which one you plan to recreate. All right, guys, see you all in the next one.